polycarbonate is absolutely the strongest material that you can use on your desktop 3D printer. And we have optimized the Axiom to print in polycarbonate. Polycarbonate usually prints between 290 and 315 degrees Celsius. Now you'd be able to do that on some other desktop 3D printers, but we do it every day. We have literally printed for tens of thousands of hours with polycarbonate on our Airwolf printers. As a matter of fact, since over a year ago, we've been printing in polycarbonate every single day because a lot of the materials that are used in our Airwolf printers are made from polycarbonate. Take, for example, our hot end, our bed mounts, and a number of other components, and not only the Axiom, but the HD and even the XL series as well. Now, to print in polycarbonate, it's not simply a matter of just turning up the temp on your hot end. Everything in your printer has to be able to withstand that extreme heat. Remember, with ABS, we'll print at 240, which most machines won't print at. Most machines will print PLA at 200 to 225. Now, imagine taking that up to 300 degrees. There is an extreme amount of stress that's put on all sorts of components like bearings, greases, belts in that 3D printer. And when you have an enclosed environment like the Axiom, it is very hot in there. The only way you can print in this is through extensive R&D and development of components that would withstand all of these uh, heat sources. So I'm gonna show you an example of polycarbonate uh, printed piece. I could tell you about the machines printed pieces, but one of the coolest parts we've ever made in polycarbonate is this bearing. Now this bearing came right off this machine and it had a little bit of support in it. We picked the support off and it works. We've probably had this bearing in the shop for four months. We take it to all the trade shows. People just can't believe that it actually works and it was made out of a single material. Now this is polycarbonate. I wouldn't try what I'm about to do with any other material you can make on a desktop 3D printer, but polycarbonate is so extraordinarily strong that you can get away with just about everything. So watch this. Perfect. That's polycarbonate. That's how strong it is. That's why these printers and polycarbonate are so popular with our aerospace customers, because you can get extreme strength approaching metal on the desktop with this material. Now, being able to extrude polycarbonate is one thing. Being able to actually make it stick to the bed is another. Before we came along, there was no way to get polycarbonate to adhere to your build plate. So, we had to develop one. What we developed was a solution called Wolf Bite Mega. Now, Wolf Bite Mega is simply applied to your glass plate, just like Wolf Bite Standard is. And what it does is it forms a film on that glass plate that would adhere the polycarbonate to the glass or the ceramic in this case. After the plate is cooled, when the print is finished, the parts will literally fall right off the plate. So Wolf Bite Mega is like, like how we like to say heat activated. Now the next thing we'll do to print polycarbonate is we'll preheat our hot end. Now in this case, we have ABS already loaded in the machine. So let's go to prepare, preheat ABS, okay? And while the machine's heating, I'll tell you a little bit about the rationale between sw switching temps and different materials. Generally, if we have a lower temperature material in here and we're about to put a higher temperature material in, we want to pull that first material out at the temperature it's used to. So ABS likes about 240 degrees. We'll wait for that hot end to get up to 240, and then we'll simply hit remove film in here and the ABS will come out. But when we introduce our polycarbonate, the polycarbonate melts at a much higher temperature. So if we didn't change anything, the polycarbonate would never extrude. So we have a nice button on here for preheating not only ABS and PLA, but also polycarbonate. So when we get ready to put our polycarbonate in, we'll simply select preheat polycarbonate and we will push all the ABS through the hot end. When you switch materials, it's critical that you remove all of the previous material so that you can start printing with your new material. So now it's time to exchange the ABS filament in the hot end for polycarbonate. So once we have the machine hot enough 
to pull out the ABS, which in this case is 240C on the extruder, we can simply press remove filament. So let's go to prepare, navigate down to remove filament, just simply click that button. The machine will do everything else for you. In a matter of seconds, we will have a free filament roll ready to take off the machine and we will replace it with polycarbonate. So now our ABS is coming out of the machine under the remove filament command. And you can hear it, it's almost done now. And there we go. So we'll simply remove it here, tie it back into the roll, save it for later, and let's get ready to load our polycarbonate. Now remember, preheat the hot end for polycarbonate before it goes on. Luckily, we have a very convenient feature here. It's called preheat PC, PC for polycarbonate. Go ahead to preheat PC1. That'll put our bed and the head at the right temperature. And once the head gets hot enough, we'll simply feed this through. Now, as you might have caught on, polycarbonate not only needs a hotter extrusion temperature, it needs a hotter bed temperature as well. Now, we preheat the bed to 135 degrees, but when you're printing with it, your G-code should really specify 140 to 145C. Now, I don't know of hardly any 3D printers besides the Axiom that will get that hot on the bed. That is absolutely critical to perfect adhesion with polycarbonate. The bed needs to be very, very warm because polycarbonate is one of those materials that likes to warp up on itself if it doesn't have enough heat. So I just heard the fans turn off. In the Axiom, the fans will actually turn off in the hot end when we get up to 260 degrees or over 260 because polycarbonate does not need any fans. So here we go, we're at 278, 280. Let's go ahead and start loading polycarbonate. Let's navigate to prepare and load filament. Now we have the, the end already trimmed, so it's ready to go in. We have about five seconds to start loading this before that motor starts running, and here we go. Now the machine's taking the filament in for us, slowly at first, and then it will speed up as it gets more traction on that filament so we don't strip the filament accidentally. And it'll come up here in just a second. Now, you notice we still have some ABS in that hot end. We need to get this polycarbonate through there so there's no more red visually in that hot end. Because if we start our print with ABS still in the hot end, we'll have some mixes of different materials on our first layer, and it really won't give us the ideal finish that we want on that part. Plus, we might have some different properties as far as bed adhesion, retraction settings, and so forth. So it's important to completely clean out the hot end with the old material before the new one comes in. So here we go. You can see there we got the red filament. Now the red is getting displaced by the black polycarbonate. And that's starting to happen about right now. And with polycarbonate, it is such a strong uh, material that it'll frequently displace everything very quickly. So we could probably actually start printing right now. I'll just remove the spare filament here and you're ready to go. Now, if you wanted to make sure that hot end was really free of the ABS, we'd simply go to prepare. Prime filament. Press that a couple times and we'll really make sure that polycarbonate works its way through the hot end. Now this hot end, this is a uh, evolution of the Airwolf JR hot end. If you might remember, we started with the JR, then we moved to the JRX for the high temperature materials like polycarbonate, and that has ultimately evolved into the hot end here in the Axiom that has been designed for continuous printing at very high temperatures, uh, 300C uh, and above. So here we've got the hot end prime and polycarbonate, and right now you could simply go ahead and go to your SD card and print your polycarbonate part.